Red Bull, please sponsor me. So welcome back to another video. It is Tuesday afternoon at the moment. So on Sunday we had the Elite National. Me and Maddie were the only two that could make it up there from Copeland's. But yeah, it didn't end up being a very good day for me. I think I lasted like 35k. It wasn't like super hard for the first 30k. I just didn't have very good legs. We ended up driving up six hours the night before, which is never good before an important race. So yeah, legs just weren't there. I think the first climb we did 350 watts for seven and a half minutes. So it was it wasn't like easy, but it wasn't like ridiculous power anyway. But yeah, me and Maddie both ended up not finishing along with half of the peloton. So I think only like 30 or 40 guys actually ended up finishing the race, and I think like 90 started. But yeah, anyway, tonight is Tuesday, so we got a Tuesday night um club champs. Tonight and tonight we have the hill climb champ. So we go up Kurau, just like I think to the summit of Kurau is about a 15 minute, 16 minute climb. So depending on which way the wind's going, it can be really, really fast up there. It's more of a power climbers climb than a like climbers climb, like Admiral is because it's super steep. So if it's a tailwind and you've got a lot of power, you can go up there really, really fast. So that's what we've got on tonight. So recently I've had a few bigger like ads and um, social media jobs to be filming. So I've picked myself up the new DJI Mavic Mini. And it's also gonna be a really good asset for these videos and like doing some drone work following the cyclist and stuff. So the last time I had a drone, I crashed it into a river. So I'm hoping for better luck with this one. So I've got my iPhone to control it. It comes with the drone itself. And then it comes with three batteries and then the controller so this is the drone it is absolutely tiny so here's my iphone 7 and it is just tiny Hold these arms out and then fold these arms down like that so in america there's super super strict drone laws for while you're flying over there so i got this one it's under it's 249 grams for any drone over 250 grams you have to register it i filmed an ad with it yesterday and then i took it out for a bit of a spin now so i'm going to put up some of that footage for you guys to watch now Okay, so here's a little bit of my bike set up for tonight. So unfortunately the rear 50 is actually punctured at the moment, so I need a new tub for it. So in the meantime, I'm gonna be running the Jura C75. It's pretty light, it's a little bit heavier than the C50, so not great for climbing, but it is what it is. But the best thing about these wheels at the moment is that if you come around, there it is right there. I'm running a 30 tooth on the back. And that 30 just really helps to keep my cadence high on a big climb, like 15 to 20 minute climb. That having that 30 is a real big asset. I'm still running like a 39 on the front with these absolute black oval chain rings. So combined with the oval and having that 30, I can really spin up most climbs. Like there's, I've been up some pretty steep pinches on it so far and really haven't felt like I needed another gear. So yeah, that is the setup for tonight's race. So I'm at the bottom of Kurao at the moment, so this is the climb. The Queen stage went up here three times and then finished up Admiral, which is literally just the hill over there. But this is the start between those cones there and there, I'm pretty sure. So taking a look at this climb on Strava, so it is seven kilometers long and 4.6% is the average gradient on the way up. And my best time so far is 17 and a half minutes. So basically the game plan for the hill today is that I always die on club races in this first section up here. So I'm gonna really try and just ease into it and try and negative split the, the watts between the first um, three and a half K and the second three and a half K. So this climb has, I think three um, flat sections. So the first is probably a kilometer and this is probably the hardest bit is the first, first K. You get up to the first K and then it swings left and it's all flat through there and then it swings right and then there's a long section of probably, I don't know, four kilometers of climbing. And that's the section where you're gonna have to make uh, most of your time up there. Through that long section, it's actually quite fast. So that's the bit where you can almost big ring it on a good day when you've got a tailwind. So through there is the time where you really wanna just absolutely smash it. And then it kind of swings around in a little steep bit and then it comes up by a dam and it flattens off for another 200 meters-ish. There's another little kicker, flattens off, 
and then it just kind of swings around all the way to the top and that's a like 7k to the top so power for tonight i'm going to try and do the first half at 350 and then if i've got anything left in the tank i'd like to try and push it up to 370 380 but just depends how the legs are feeling obviously i had club and nats on sunday and my legs weren't feeling that great Alrighty, so for today's race i'm actually running the master skin suit i haven't worn this in a very long time but i'm running this because it's club uh, club champ so i thought i might as well might as well get a bit of use out of it because i barely wear it each year okay welcome back to another cycling tom special today we have the 2020 um, acm club hill champs i forgot to actually turn my gopro on right at the bottom of the climb so this is like i guess after the first straight and coming around into the first corner so like i said earlier the hill kind of goes up in a, lot, a bunch of stages almost like steps so I've, I've done the first step and that's the last flat and off and this is the corner right there as you can see that's obviously just the marshal um, going past us so this is like the longest straight i think this is about three and a half to four kilometers so i'm really just trying to stick at that um 340 350 watts for this bit first 10 minutes um, i'm not feeling that great honestly the legs in this bit are really hurting you know when you start an effort and um you know you know you're feeling really good you're like yeah i can really hold this legs almost feel numb but when i started this the first minute of 350 just felt i, I knew my legs were sore and they really weren't feeling that good so as you can see i think we're about probably three and a half four k into the um hill climb at the moment and as you can see this lane is just in the background there so i'm still doing like 300 i think i average i'm averaging 340 watts at the moment and langus just comes past me it's a minute gap so he must be close to 400 410 watts at the moment for the first 10 minutes which is pretty impressive so this is like the first corner up to the dams so this is like the second drop off as they call it it kind of flattens off and my legs are really hurting here i think this is almost 10 minutes into the race probably 11 minutes in i think by this stage i was still going all right i had an average power of about 335 watts by this point so i've gone through the next like um drop off the next flat bit and then this is like a real little pinch i think it's about 500 meters so really trying to push on the power to get through this bit um up to the top so this next section here is coming up so i guess like the third long straight and then this kind of like swings up to the to the right so here this is like the first cyclist i actually passed usually on these i pass a few guys but um i think everyone was having a good day and i was having quite a bad day so i didn't seem to catch anyone and langus just caught me so i'm still doing 300 odd watts here but it's really i need to needed to be doing 350. so unfortunately this the power in the second i think well i did 10 minutes the first 10 minutes i did at 335 which is still under 350 like i wanted to do and then the the, uh, the last seven minutes i really started to crack i was barely holding 300 as you can see here so i don't have the results at the time of this recording because they haven't come out yet but langers did about a 15 and a half minute for the 7k and i did about 17 and a half minutes for the um hill climb so he put two minutes into me which is pretty impressive so i averaged 312 watts for the whole climb but i averaged 340 to like the first like the damn bit so the 10 minutes in so the first 10 minutes was really good i just really cracked after that so legs still aren't feeling that great so that is going to be the end of today's video so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you um haven't given this video a like please do that by hitting that like button below and if you are not subscribed and i know that quite a lot of people that watch my videos haven't subscribed yet so if you um, want to keep updated and see all the videos that i upload just hit that red button below and it will send you a notification every time i upload cheers for watching